So here we are in the Sea Drift subdivision. It's an area comprised of about 150 oceanfront homes. There's also 20 homes that are right on the Bolinas Lagoon. And then there's an additional about 200 homes that rest on the interior man-made lagoon called the Sea Drift Lagoon. What we're gonna show you today is a gorgeous house on its own private beach. This is called the Madigan House at 324 Sea Drift Road, the Gold Coast of Sea Drift. And I'm gonna show you why, because you're gonna get these unparalleled views of the ocean. All the homes out here are named after the owner's last name. This could have your name. One of the things I love about this house is the privacy that it offers. Perfect place to barbecue, hang out, or just lay in a hammock on a warm summer day like we have today. And I'm gonna show you immediately what makes this house so spectacular. We got four bedrooms here and almost just under 2,000 square feet. There's lots of things I wanna point out here that make this house very unique and very special. One thing that I truly love is the fact that it got this great giant entertainment area because when you have a beach house, you're gonna be doing lots of entertaining. You'll see the high ceilings, open beam. Another thing that I really love is this fireplace against the west wall, unobstructing the gorgeous views. And over here, the kitchen, if you're gonna be cooking for all these friends that you're gonna be entertaining, you wanna be able to look out at the view. And I did mention there's a view, right? I'm saving the best for last, of course. But as you can see here, this floor to ceiling glass windows give you one of the best views that you could possibly imagine when you have a beach house. One of my favorite things about this house and the architect that designed this was really smart. He made this indoor outdoor courtyard. There's actually radiant heat out here in the floors. Open air, perfect for those windy days. Yet you still get these great views. And what we call here the Gold Coast, obviously you're elevated a little bit higher on the dune here. Look at this beach. No one's on it except for you when you're ready to make this house yours. Obviously, what makes Stinson Beach and Sea Drift so special is this beautiful four-mile crescent-shaped beach. In Sea Drift, it's all private. Your property rights actually extend all the way down to the mean high tide. So it's just pristine, private. You can see here dogs, heaven, chasing birds, lots of pelicans fly, getting lunch or dinner, a great little surf break all right here at your fingertips. On our exterior here, you can see all the glass, which really shows you the incredible views that you're gonna get from this house. Another thing I wanna point out is, this is so typical for Stinson Beach. We have this wonderful microclimate that a lot of people don't realize that we have out here. As you can see, Mount Tam heats up, pushes the fog back, and we have sunny days out here while it's sopped in fog in San Francisco. And we're just 30 minutes away. Just off the great room, it's a bedroom wing. And I really like having the separation from the entertainment area, especially if you have some loud friends like mine that are separate from the bedroom. So here we go. We're going to walk you back into here. This is a guest bedroom right here. This is one of two bedrooms that have great ocean views. And then this way takes you right to the master bedroom. This master bedroom features gorgeous views of the ocean, a large closet, and of course, your very own wave sound machine that's gonna help you sleep at night. And in the back, we have what's called the bunk or kids room. Nice little views out onto that courtyard. Lots of areas for bunk beds or to sleep a lot of kids. And then finally, in the very back here, your fourth additional bedroom. What every beach house needs is an area for lots of storage. Not only does the house itself have tons of storage, but it also has this large two-car garage full of everything except for cars. And that's gonna be all your beach essentials, beach chairs, kayaks, surfboards, rowboats, everything you need to make your beach life the perfect retreat. Now I'm gonna take you around the neighborhood and show you what Stinson Beach is all about. Welcome to the town of Stinson Beach, one of my favorite places in the entire world. It's a town of about 500 people, but on weekends, about 10,000. We're out in front of the Sand Dollar, the little community that has everything you need from surf shop, bookstore, art gallery, great restaurant, and a nice little bar. And it's got a basketball court. Yes. There's lots of things to do here, like kayaking, biking, and hiking. So that was our day out at Stinson Beach. Hope you really enjoyed the tour. What well, makes everything so fantastic out here? It's 
Take care. Bye for now.